on the leg side, Miss Queen at that time. You mentioned about opportunity of playing at this match. How often does a player continuously play Test cricket nowadays with so much franchise cricket? The Test cricketers are quite a handful. So that's where I think more Test matches for every country. Forget about Afghanistan. I think every country in the world should be considering more because test of skills, test of temperament, test of everything. Over five days is never easy as a cricketer. The preparation got to be spot on. The preparation can be physical, mental, technical, and that adds up. Especially when today we are starting the Australia England Ashes series, and the entire world is looking forward to. So that's where I think entire the other teams in the world should be targeting to get that level. Absolutely, that's like polishing the gym out of the players, and especially for the captains because this match is. Uh, a very much tactical game you need to set your strategies right you need to make the decisions at the right time if I'm making runs at what tempo I want to score run how do I attack how do I bluff the batsman what score do I declare all sort of things come into play when you are playing a test match I'm a big believer of preparation when you're prepared, when you're mentally prepared and technically prepared, you know going into a test match, right, you've done the hard work leading up to the game. Now it's about putting that skills into play in the middle. Yes, you may fail. That's part of the parcel of the game. But at the end of the day, when you walk out of the stadium, knowing that you've given everything and things haven't fallen in place, that happens. It's part and parcel of a professional sportsman's life. But the problem is when you don't do it, when you don't do the basics right, you do the cardinal letter over and over again, that's the guilt feel that you will have once you go back before you go to bed. So that's some reason and these youngsters should learn. Being honest to yourself and a big respect to the uh, curator and the groundsman for giving us wonderful facilities in this amazing stadium as well. Garmin Silva, the man in the frame talking about the players it's very important that the players come out with the right mental attitude you put that spot on Maha that even if you fail you should not let that right mental attitude go away from you and that's only how you can achieve your goals and that's how you feel that nothing on the earth can can stop you but if you, on the contrary, have that wrong mental attitude, you lose things, you fall apart, it's really difficult to put things together and earn yourself the honors and victories and triumphs. I'll give you a good example. Talk about partnership. I played in an era where Murli Dharan and Chamin Dawaz, two of the big names who played test cricket. Murli Dharan picked up so much wicket, 800 to be exact, mainly because Chamin Dawaz from one end holds on and doesn't give any runs at all. The pressure adds up and eventually batsman has to go for runs and Murli Dharan rewards it. I'm not saying you compare them yourself to that level but work in partnership. That's the message over here. 380 for 4. 